What's up guys, Jarv here back on Planet Destiny. It's Friday and our good friend Zer has returned. Our friendly neighborhood trash collector can be found on a European dead zone this week over in a winding cove. So you find him over on the cliffside. Let's have a look and see what goodies he has. All right, here we go. So we've got the exotic engram as always. So this contains any new exotics if you have any missing from your collection. If your collection is already full though, then it should provide a random piece of exotic armor instead so it's good for filling out that collection if you're new to destiny it will cost you 20 or sorry 97 legendary shards or you can use the exotic cipher which you can gain from this quest as for the exotic weapon we got the fighting lion which is an exotic grenade launcher uh, uses energy ammo so this got delayed gratification so grenades bounce and have delayed detonation pretty interesting Grenade launcher to use can be quite frustrating in the Crucible, in fact. So worth having and snagging if you don't have that in the collection for 29 shards. If you run a Hunter, we've got the Graviton Forfeit. It's got a stat roll of 48, which is relatively low. It's got Vanishing Shadow, which improves your invisibility, invis which is very strong this season with the Void 3.0 rework. Uh, we've got Symphoseps v Titans, which are immensely strong with the rework as well. 48 stat as well. Bionic Enhancements, so it busts your melee range. And being surrounded busts your damage as well, which is why it's so potent and strong. And for your Warlocks, we've got Aeon Souls. 51, so generous, I guess, from Zer, as things currently stand. Uh, and these are pretty good for generating things like heavy ammo on champion kills. So pretty good for GMs if you're intending to run those later in the season. So yeah, not too bad for 23 shards if you haven't got them in the collection. For you legendary weapons here, we've got the Night Watch with Rapid Hit Multi Kill Clip, which isn't too bad. The Serum Series Sidearms got Fill Prep and Elemental Capacitor, with the Juan 7 having Firmly Planted and Swashbuckler. We've got a God Roll main ingredient here, have we? Hang on a second. We've got Tap the Trigger with Firmly Planted. We've got the old Projection Fuse with the Red Dot Micro. There we go. Those are the things we love to see, sir. That is an absolute must if you're a fan of Fusion Rifles, or even if you're not, uh, definitely don't sleep on that. Uh, we've got the Wishbringer here with Slideshot Autoloading Holster. Interesting. We've got the Shattered Cypher, Cypher from Season of the Splicer. Autoloading Holster and Unrelenting if you missed out on it from a previous season. And we also have a Nightfall weapon. Incredible stuff. This is not in rotation for Nightfall weapons this season, but is in the Zer loot pool. We've got the Swarm of Killing Wind One for All, which is... Not too, not too bad, really, for a swarm. So, yeah, worth a shout if you didn't pick that up for Nightfalls in previous seasons. And as for your armor, we've got the old Gambit set from Season of Arrivals. Rather interesting. All 48 stats, sadly, so is Transmog only in that case. As for the exotics for the week, we've got the Hawkmoon with Eye of the Storm here. Let's check the other perks. We've got Alloy Mag and Polymer Grip. So, an interesting role if you want to pick that up. And we've got Dead Man's Tail with four times the charm and armor piercing rounds with composite stock. There you go. Nothing's godly with those, I don't think, but I tell you what, that fusion rifle is definitely something else, so well worth a visit this week. There we go, that wraps up Zer for this week. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the other videos here on the channel as that super helps us out. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.